When God prepares someone special for you, it's not always with a loud proclamation or a direct sign. Instead, He plants a deep desire within your heart, a love that pulls you toward that person. Often, this divine connection happens in places where you're drawn closer to God, perhaps in church or during moments of spiritual reflection. You might meet this person in an unexpected setting, and when you do, the connection will feel undeniably strong. This is God's way of bringing two souls together. Whether you've known each other for years or are just starting to build a relationship, the important part is not how or when you meet, but the bond that forms. God's timing is perfect. Even if it feels like it's taking forever to find your partner, trust that He is working behind the scenes. When you meet the right person, there will be an understanding and support that you haven't experienced before. They will celebrate your victories, uplift you in difficult times, and encourage your growth in faith and character. It's crucial to remain patient and faithful. Spend time in prayer and immerse yourself in God's Word, seeking His guidance. God's plans are always perfect, and He knows exactly what you need. As you follow His path, He will bring the right person into your life at the right time. Remember, your future spouse is also a believer, someone who walks with God and shares your faith. This shared spiritual foundation is key to a strong and lasting marriage. When you both commit to following God's will, no obstacle can stand in the way of your union. Your marriage will be a testament to God's love and faithfulness. Trust in God's timing and His plan for you. He is preparing both you and your future spouse for a passionate, God-centered marriage. When the time is right, you will come together in a union that glorifies God and fulfills His purpose for your lives. A powerful sign that God is preparing someone special for you is when there is a genuine and sincere love between you both. This kind of love isn't just about feelings. It's about commitment, selflessness, and a shared journey in faith. God desires that your relationship is centered around Him and His teachings. He wants your marriage to be a reflection of His love, and He guides you to make wise choices that align with His will. God grants us the freedom to choose our partners, reflecting His desire for us to love willingly and joyfully. This freedom is a gift, allowing us to seek out a spouse who shares our faith and values. If God were to dictate our every choice, we would lose our personal connection and growth that comes from making our own decisions. Even when we falter in our relationships, God's grace is there to help us recover and grow stronger. When you find a partner who is a devout believer, who loves and cherishes you, and who supports your spiritual journey, you can be confident that God will bless your union. It's crucial to remember that while God gives us free will, He also provides guidance and wisdom to help us make the best choices. He won't force us, but He places the right desires in our hearts, leading us towards relationships that honor Him. However, if you sense that your relationship isn't in line with God's will, it's important to reconsider before committing to marriage. God never imposes His will on us. Instead, He encourages us to make decisions that will lead to blessings and fulfillment. Every choice we make comes with consequences. And even if we stray, God's love remains steadfast, offering us a path back to Him. Romans 6.2 reminds us that we shouldn't continue in sin expecting grace to cover our missteps indefinitely. This means that we must be deliberate in our decisions, choosing a partner who not only loves us, but also supports our spiritual growth. Your spouse should help you live out God's divine purpose for your life and marriage, being a partner in faith and devotion. Ultimately, the person God has prepared for you will be someone who is committed to you and to God. This partner will walk alongside you in faith, helping you grow spiritually and fulfill God's plan for your life. 
trust in God's guidance, embrace the freedom He gives you, and choose a partner who reflects His love and grace. God has a special way of preparing you for marriage, and He often reveals your future spouse through visions, dreams, prophecies, or the guidance of His devoted saints. Recognize that God generally works in two distinct ways when showing you your life partner. He may either direct you according to His perfect will or give you the freedom to choose someone whose qualities resonate with you. No matter the approach, God's hand is always present, steering you towards the right person to marry and love. One powerful way God communicates about your future spouse is through visions and dreams. It's essential not to mistake these divine signs for mere infatuation or fleeting emotions. God has a distinct way of speaking to His children. When He wants to reveal the person He has prepared for you, He will do so unmistakably. As 2 Corinthians 13.1 advises, you should not entertain doubt when God points out your future spouse. Stay anchored in your faith and hold fast to His promises. Moreover, God might confirm your spouse through prophecy. This prophetic message can come from someone with the gift of insight or through a dedicated servant of God. Ministers or other spiritual leaders might receive a divine revelation about your future partner. Sometimes, if God doesn't reveal who you should marry, it might mean He is still working on your readiness. This period is crucial for personal growth and spiritual maturity indicating that you need more time to prepare for the commitment of marriage. When God does show you who your spouse will be, He ensures that this revelation is clear to both parties. God is not a God of confusion. He brings clarity and confirmation to both hearts involved. Additionally, God will plant a deep, abiding love between you and your future spouse. This love will help you support and cherish each other through all of life's challenges. God will pair you with someone who encourages your spiritual growth, complements your personality, and helps you overcome your weaknesses. It's important to note that God's timing is perfect. Sometimes you may feel anxious or impatient, but trust that God knows when you are ready. He will not only show you who to marry, but will also prepare your heart and mind for this sacred union. God's choice will be someone who fits seamlessly into His plans for your life, enhancing your journey and strengthening your faith. In essence, God is intricately involved in every step of preparing you for a passionate and fulfilling marriage. His guidance comes through various channels, each reinforcing His divine plan for your life. Stay vigilant. Trust in His timing and remain open to the ways He communicates. Your future spouse is a significant part of God's plan, designed to help you grow in faith and love. When God reveals this person to you, it will be a profound and affirming experience, leaving no room for doubt. God's process of revealing your spouse is not just about finding a life partner but also about shaping you into the person He wants you to be. This journey requires patience, faith, and an open heart. Trust in His wisdom, and when the time is right, He will guide you to the person who is perfectly suited for you, someone who will walk with you in faith and love, fulfilling God's purpose for your lives together. When you have dreams or visions about your future spouse, it's crucial to share them with a trusted servant or minister of God. They can help you discern and confirm the message God is conveying to you. Often, the person God has in mind for you might already be a friend or someone you know well. You don't need multiple signs to understand God's will regarding your future spouse. A single confirmation from the Holy Spirit can suffice. Knowing who God wants you to marry isn't just about identifying the right person, it's about being prepared yourself. While God is preparing someone for you, He is also working on you, shaping and refining you in every necessary way. As a believer, it's vital to be attuned to God's voice and direction. 
This discernment comes through dedicated prayer and studying God's Word. By waiting patiently on His promises, you can trust that He will not fail you. It's essential to have strong faith and believe that God is your ultimate guide in finding the spouse you truly desire. So cling to God in prayer and immerse yourself in His Word. He has promised never to abandon us. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, including the choice of a spouse, God will answer according to His will. Don't rely on shortcuts or let your emotions lead your decisions. Instead, fully surrender to God's guidance and He will prepare the perfect partner for you. God has never failed before and He will fulfill His purpose for your life. Why does God allow your heart to care so deeply for someone, even when you're not in a relationship with them at this time? Let's explore four reasons. Number one, firstly, God may be planting these deep feelings in your heart because you and this person are destined to be together in the future, just not right now. It's important to remember that mutual feelings are crucial for any relationship. If both parties don't have a desire to be together, that's a clear indication it's not meant to be. However, having strong feelings for someone doesn't guarantee a future together. It's just one part of what's necessary for a relationship to blossom. Maybe the other person doesn't share your feelings at this moment, but feelings can change over time. There are numerous instances where this has happened, so don't lose hope just yet. Understanding that God's timing is perfect is essential. Sometimes, He allows us to experience deep emotions for someone to prepare us for a future relationship. This waiting period can be a time of growth and preparation for both individuals. It's during this time that God shapes us into the people we need to be for each other. Trust in God's plan and His perfect timing, even when it doesn't align with our own desires. Additionally, caring deeply for someone can be a test of your faith and patience. God may be using this experience to strengthen your trust in Him. When you learn to rely on God and His timing, you develop a deeper relationship with Him, which is foundational for any future relationship. This period of waiting and trusting can also help you develop a clearer understanding of what you truly need in a partner. Furthermore, deep feelings for someone can also teach you about love and selflessness. True love is patient and kind, as described in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. When you care deeply for someone, you learn to put their needs before your own, to pray for their well-being, and to hope for their happiness, even if it means not being together right now. This selfless love is a reflection of Christ's love for us and is an important lesson in any relationship. It's possible that God is using this time to reveal more about your own heart and desires. Sometimes we think we know what we want, but God knows us better than we know ourselves. He might be showing us what qualities you truly value in a partner or helping you to understand your own emotions more deeply. This self-awareness is crucial in building a healthy, Christ-centered relationship in the future. Trust in God's plan and His perfect timing, knowing that He has a purpose for everything, even your deepest emotions. Number 2. God allows you to care so much about someone that it can sometimes be painful. This often happens because you haven't fully protected your heart. While loving deeply can bring joy, it can also bring sorrow. This isn't necessarily bad. Feeling pain for someone you care about is part of love. But there are times when we could avoid unnecessary heartache if we paid attention to God's warnings. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, it says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Guarding your heart means being wise about who and how you love. It doesn't mean closing yourself off completely. 
It means not rushing into commitments or placing too much trust in someone who hasn't proven themselves trustworthy. Love should grow from mutual respect and understanding, not from illusions or wishful thinking. If you find yourself hurt because you gave your heart to someone who didn't treat it well or didn't want it, it's important to seek God's help to heal. Bring your pain to Him in prayer. Ask for forgiveness if you've put someone else before Him or didn't guard your heart as you should have. Surrender your heart back to God. When you do this, you're giving it to the one who truly cares for you. In His hands, your heart will find peace and healing. You won't be stuck in constant pain over this person because your heart is where it belongs, with God. God uses these experiences to teach us and to draw us closer to Him. It's a reminder that our hearts are precious and should be given to someone who values them as God does. Don't let this pain be in vain. Let it guide you to love wisely and to trust in God's plan for your relationships. Remember, He knows what's best for you, and He's always there to guide you, to comfort you, and to heal you. Number 3. God has stirred your heart to care so deeply for this person because He wants you to shine His light in their life. This isn't about trying to convert someone through dating, a practice often referred to as missionary dating, which the Bible advises against due to the dangers of being unequally yoked. But God may place a non-believer on your heart for you to be an example of His love and truth. Consider this. God might use your compassion and actions to show His love to someone who doesn't yet know Him. If this person eventually comes to faith, any potential romantic relationship should be a secondary thought, not your primary motive. Your focus should be on their current state and your role in reflecting Christ to them. There are also times when God brings two Christians together for a specific period. These relationships can be crucial for mutual growth and support. Not every relationship is intended to last a lifetime, and that is part of God's design. Seasonal relationships can be instrumental in shaping us and preparing us for future purposes. They aren't failures, but rather stepping stones on our spiritual journey. It's essential to trust God's overarching plan. His ways are higher than ours, and He knows what's best for each of us. Keep your faith anchored in Him and let His guidance lead your steps. When you follow God's path, even temporary relationships can have lasting impacts on your spiritual growth and life purpose. Number 4. God has placed this deep care for someone in your heart because love, even with its pains, is a divine gift worth experiencing. When we face heartache, especially in relationships, it's natural to question why we endure such pain. Theologically speaking, the answer is straightforward. Everything that happens is for God's glory. While this might seem abstract or distant, it's crucial to understand that our day-to-day -day struggles are part of a bigger picture that reflects God's glory. But let's break this down further because that answer often doesn't resonate emotionally. One reason it might not is that we don't fully grasp what glorifying God means. It's more than a concept, it's a way of life. To glorify God is to mirror His essence, to live in a way that shows His love and truth. This involves loving as He loves, which includes loving those who may not love us back. Think about it. God's love is unconditional and relentless. He loves all of us, even those who reject Him. As we strive to reflect God's image, we too will find ourselves loving people who don't always reciprocate. This is part of embodying God's love in the world. Now, here's the encouragement. If you continue to love with God's kind of love, you will, in time, connect with the person God has intended for you. 
Just as God has a people, a church, who loves Him, you too will find someone who loves you in return. It's about patience and perseverance, staying true to the path God has set for you. Remember, love is a reflection of God's heart. When you love someone deeply, even through pain, you're participating in a divine act. It's not easy, and it's not always reciprocated, but it is powerful. This journey of love, marked by both joy and pain, shapes us into better reflections of God's image. It's through this process that we grow, learn, and ultimately glorify God. Keep in mind, God's timing is perfect. He sees the bigger picture that we often cannot. The love you give, even when it's not return, is never wasted. It builds your character, strengthens your spirit, and prepares you for the right person who will appreciate and return your love in God's perfect timing. God's purpose in allowing you to care so much about someone is to mold you into His likeness. The pain you feel is part of the process of becoming more like Christ, who loved unconditionally. Stay strong in your faith, keep loving as God loves, and trust that in His perfect timing, you will find the person who will love you just as deeply. Have you ever considered that the person you're waiting for is also looking for you? That special someone destined to be a part of your life is out there right now. God is working behind the scenes, arranging everything perfectly for the two of you to meet. Even though you tried to forget them or move on, there's a reason they keep coming back to your thoughts. It's God's way of reminding you He has a unique plan for the both of you. Think about it. Every time you try to let go, something inside you holds on. That's God's gentle nudge, telling you He has something wonderful in store. His timing is impeccable, and He cares deeply about every detail of your life. Even when it's hard to see, His love for you is boundless, and He's always guiding your steps. God's love and care extend to all aspects of our lives, even the ones we think are insignificant. He wants to be involved in our major decisions, in our everyday choices. When we take the time to listen, He directs us towards the right path. Trust in His plan. And remember that the person meant for you is also on a journey that will lead them to you. So be patient and have faith. God is aligning everything perfectly. The person you're meant to be with is on their way just as you're on your way to them. Keep your heart open, stay true to yourself, and trust that God's plan is unfolding exactly as it should. Marriage is one of the most significant areas of our lives, and it's very important to God. He wants us to choose wisely, because marriage is more than just a relationship between two people. It reflects His relationship with the church. This is why God sets high standards for marriage and wants to be involved in our choice of spouse. When we explore the depths of our connection with God, we find an unyielding truth. Our bond with Him remains steadfast, unshaken by the ebb and flow of earthly relationships. Marriage, while sacred, does not define our spiritual journey. Rather, it's our fidelity to God that shapes the course of our lives including our unions. Too often we stray from God's path in the pursuit of companionship, choosing partners who don't share our devotion. Yet God, in His infinite wisdom and love, guides us towards those who walk alongside us on the path of faith. You see, God is meticulous in preparing us for our future spouse. Many people don't realize this because they don't value God's methods. God is a God of order, and He has principles that He follows. Unlike humans who try to bend God's standards to fit their desires, God remains steadfast. Even in the church, this principle sometimes gets overlooked. Take Adam, for example. 
Adam didn't ask for companion. It was God who saw that it wasn't good for Adam to be alone. Adam didn't even know he was alone until Eve was brought to him. When he saw her, he immediately recognized what he had been missing. Adam was ready, so Eve was presented to him. This preparation is true for us as well. If we're idle or neglect to follow God's guidance in certain areas of our lives, we are doing ourselves a disservice. God wants us to be the best version of ourselves for our future partner. Just as He prepares us, He also prepares them, so that when the time comes, we will recognize each other. No one is perfect, but God gives us partners who complement us. He trains us to grow and be ready for the marital relationships He's planned for us. Learning is a lifelong process, but there is a certain level of readiness we must reach for different aspects of life, including marriage. We can only see what God has in store for us when we have a relationship with Him and earnestly seek His will. One of the fundamental truths He reveals is the importance of being yoked with fellow believers, those who wholeheartedly embrace Him and actively seek His presence. For in the union of two souls bound by faith, God's light shines brightest, illuminating the way forward. He warns us against entangling ourselves with those who do not share our reverence, knowing that such unions can lead us astray, veering off course into darkness. Thus, when God presents us with a partner, He ensures that their commitment to Him is unwavering. Their resolve to honor Him unyielding this chosen companion becomes a beacon of God's grace in our lives, guiding us towards righteousness and away from temptation. Together, we forge a bond founded on mutual devotion, a relationship that glorifies God in every aspect. Indeed, a union blessed by God does not detract from our spiritual growth, but nurtures it, propelling us ever closer to His divine presence. When our relationship serves as a sanctuary for our souls, a sanctuary where God's presence is palpable, we know that we found our intended partner. It's a testament to the primacy of our relationship with God, a reminder that our ultimate purpose lies in communion with the divine. For it is not the perfection of our marriages that secures our place in eternity, but the depth of our connection with God our journey toward salvation hinges not on worldly measures of success, but on our own unwavering faith and devotion. In the end, it's our steadfast commitment to God that ensures our eternal union. A bond forged in the fires of divine love, been destined to endure for all eternity. You'll see clear signs. God communicates with us in various ways and at different times, especially when it comes to significant matters. The way you perceive God's voice is closely linked to your relationship with Him. If you're not familiar with Him, it might be harder to recognize His guidance. Just like you would recognize the voice of a close friend or family member, you can learn to recognize God's voice over time. Initially, you might be unsure. But as your relationship with God grows, you'll be able to confirm His guidance more clearly. God does this to prevent confusion about who you marry. He often uses the usual ways He speaks to you, supplemented by other means. For instance, if God typically speaks to you through dreams, He might reveal your spouse to you in a dream. Additionally, He might give you a sense of peace about this person or He might send people into your life to affirm that you and this person are meant to be together. It'll seem like everything points to this person. It's crucial to pay attention to all the ways God communicates with us. When it's right, you'll just know. There won't be any confusion about your feelings towards this person. While it's natural to have some doubts, since it's a major decision, Deep down, you'll feel a certainty that this person is meant for you. Through various interactions and experiences with them, you'll recognize that both of you are a good fit. 
you'll be confident that God's been at work, bringing you two together. This connection will be mutual. You'll feel drawn to them, and they'll feel the same way. Take the story of Adam and Eve. When Adam saw Eve, he immediately recognized her as the one created for him, saying, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. He knew without a doubt that she was right for him. Similarly, consider Isaac. Although he lived among many people, he didn't find anyone suitable until God, through his father Abraham, orchestrated his meeting with Rebecca. The moment Isaac saw her, he knew she was the one. Genesis 24 tells us that Isaac was comforted by her presence after his mother's death. This kind of knowing is often undeniable for true believers. We may try to ignore it, but the feeling is usually there, guiding us towards the person God's chosen for us. God is deeply interested in our lives and wants to guide us, especially in important areas like marriage. He sets high standards and wants us to choose wisely. By staying attuned to His voice and guidance, we can be confident that He'll lead us to the right person. If we truly want to understand God's plan for our future spouse, we need to focus on three crucial steps. First, we must genuinely desire to please God. Without this heartfelt intention, we won't be able to recognize the spouse God has for us. There are times when we may feel let down by God's methods because we don't immediately see the outcome. However, when our deepest desire is to please God, we'll strive to follow His will, even when it goes against our own inclinations. Reaching this point of having a surrendered heart makes it easier to perceive God's guidance. Secondly, we must pray. Communication with God is essential for us to discern what He's revealing about our future spouse. We need to fervently ask Him to make His plan clear to us. Without regular prayer, we remain blind to His revelations. This step is vital for gaining a clearer understanding. And finally, studying the Word of God is paramount. The Bible is God's primary way of speaking to us. More than any other medium, He uses His Word to communicate His will. If we neglect the Scriptures, we're not positioning ourselves to see what God is showing us. Following these steps allows us to align with God's will and see the path He's laid out for us in our relationships. We can achieve a blissful marriage when we make these efforts a part of our daily lives. When God wants you and someone to be together romantically and build a future in marriage, He will cause you to start feeling a special connection with them, that butterfly-in-your-stomach kind of feeling. If you handle this well, it becomes a wonderful experience that leads to love and happiness for you both. Why does God get involved in this aspect of your life? Well, through your marital fulfillment, your love story, and the union and family you build, His will and purpose can prosper on earth. Imagine your love story as a beautiful masterpiece crafted by God Himself. In this masterpiece, each chapter is filled with twists and turns that bring you closer to the one your heart desires. In this video, get ready because God is about to show you some fascinating things that will keep happening until you and the person He's bringing to you finally come together. God's love for you is like no other, and it's crucial that your choices align with His divine plan. Before diving into any romantic relationship, you've got to ensure you have God's green light and His loving guidance. This isn't just about finding the right person, it's about doing things the right way. Bringing God into your relationship? Now, that's a brilliant move, my friend. It's the secret sauce to a deeply fulfilling marital life. So, always remember this golden rule. When God is at the core of it all, you can bet your relationship is built on a rock-solid foundation that will stand the test of time. Psalm 37.4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. In this verse, 
it becomes clear that when we align our hearts with God's will, He graciously leads us to someone who will enhance our lives in ways we couldn't have imagined. So, dear friend, let God be your guide in finding the one meant for you. Trust in His timing, and in doing so, you'll bring a smile to His face by allowing Him to choose what's best for you. When God brings the right person into your life, there's a divine force that draws you both together. It's not just a one-sided feeling. That same force drawing you in is drawing the other person too. It's a mutual connection that's truly special. The tale of Jacob and Rachel, intertwined in a love triangle with Leah, showcases the intricate ways in which God orchestrates connections between people meant for each other. Sometimes it may appear complicated and accidental, while at other times it feels like a heavenly match right from the start. This unpredictability highlights the uniqueness of each divine union. There is no set formula for how these connections unfold. What truly matters is the destination God is guiding you towards, which is ultimate fulfillment. Through Jacob's family, God upheld the Abrahamic covenant and established the 12 tribes of Israel. This just goes to confirm how important it is to follow God's guidance, to be where He intends you to be, and to embrace the path He sets before you, no matter how complex it may seem. Although right now, you may feel like it is taking too long for something great to happen in your relationship life, just keep trusting God's process. He will guide you to the right person He has ordained for you. When that happens, you will know it is not a coincidence. It is planned by God Himself to bring you a future and a hope. One of the things that will keep happening until you're with the one ordained by God is you'll feel your hearts being locked together. Let me explain this. God is the ultimate matchmaker, orchestrating connections since the dawn of time, right? He excels not only in bringing individuals together, but also in aligning destinies. The bond God intends for you to share with someone goes beyond the physical. It's deeply spiritual. It's not just about feeling connected on the surface. It's about a profound connection within your soul. So, if God is intertwining your heart with someone else's, you'll feel a mutual calling to serve Him and fulfill His plans together. You'll sense the gentle nudges of the Holy Spirit, guiding you not just to draw near to that person, but to recognize their significance in God's grand design for your life. When you recognize this divine orchestration, my friend, heed it. If being with someone brings a beautiful harmony in your pursuit of God's will, then it's a clear sign that God is knitting your hearts together. Many relationships today falter because they lack this deep spiritual connection. They focus solely on fleeting emotions, which lack the resilience needed to endure life's trials. Psalm 11.3 gives us an idea of building on a good foundation versus building on a weak one. It says, when the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? This strong foundation of spiritual connection with the right person possesses a divine power that will keep you and your partner standing when the twists and turns of life show up. Another thing that will happen when God brings your hearts together is that the urge to seek Him more will come effortlessly to you. What does this mean? It means that as God is drawing you together, your heart and focus on God will increase exponentially. It won't feel like a burden balancing between your love life and God. In fact, it would all feel like the same thing, with God being the pillar supporting your relationship with this person. And, of course, this will lead to spiritual growth, deepening your faith and trust in God, eventually bringing fulfillment to your relationship. As Matthew 6.33 says, but seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Placing God at the center of your relationship is crucial, because a strong mutual spiritual devotion will lay an equally strong foundation for a fulfilling marriage. Meditate on that for a second. 
Then there's a peace and calm that will continue to fill your heart whenever your thoughts go to this person, regardless of the storms that may otherwise surround your life or relationship with them. Peace confirms that your hearts are connected together. Peace is one of the fruits of the Spirit, as seen in Galatians. It is a sign that God is at work in your relationship. And as you're watching this video right now, He wants you to know that the comfort and peace you are experiencing is a sign that He has connected you both together. Also, He wants you to know that there is a blessing attached to your marriage with that person. This leads us to another crucial experience you'll have when God connects your heart with someone, which are divine confirmations. Divine confirmations are the various means through which God communicates with His children to let them know His will and where they are standing in His will. God doesn't just carry out activities for us. Instead, He starts by placing breadcrumbs along the path for us. These crumbs point to Him and illuminate our path showing us whether to continue or stop. One example in the Bible is Joseph, Mary's husband. When he discovered Mary was pregnant, he initially wanted to walk away. But a vision from the Holy Spirit revealed that the child was from God and would be the Savior of the world. Though Joseph thought of ending things, the Holy Spirit guided him to stay. Unlike Joseph, many people ignore the Holy Spirit's gentle nudges they rely solely on their feelings, thinking it's enough to just like someone or want to be with them. The Bible reminds us that God knows the end from the beginning. If the Holy Spirit urges you to stay or leave a relationship, there's a purpose behind it. God communicates with us in various ways about different things. Whatever doesn't align with His will may not have His blessings and will lead to frustration and regret later. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God, who knows the end from the beginning, knows who's right for you and who isn't. So, if He's putting feelings in your heart, making you see yourself serving Him together and finding peace with each other, don't fight those feelings. Embrace them instead, because God knows what is perfect for you. He loves you and wants what's best for you. God knew that with Joseph in Mary's life, the ministry of raising the Messiah and the life of the Messiah Himself would be positively affected. So He kept Him with her, that's what I want you to know from today's video. Remember, God won't force you into any relationship. He cares for you deeply and won't lead you into any relationship that could hurt you. Just like a loving father guides their child, God's plans for you are full of hope and goodness, especially when it comes to relationships. Remember, dear friend, to have faith and trust in God as you navigate this journey filled with love. When you hold on to Him with all your heart, He will make your dreams come true. Have you noticed a change in how people approach dating and relationships lately? It seems like the pandemic has shifted our perspectives on human interaction. I often find myself wondering if this change is new or if it's always been this way. This contemplation often occurs when I'm out seeking a partner However, amidst these uncertainties, I still hold on to my faith in God's plan for my life. I believe that my soulmate is on the way, and this waiting period is just a step towards our destined union. This time has taught me that waiting is not a setback, but a preparation for the beautiful future ahead. Patience, a virtue often extolled in the Bible, holds a significant place in our spiritual and personal lives. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Reminds us that patience is among the fruits of the Holy Spirit 
emphasizing its importance in our relationship with God and with others. James chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Offers profound insight, stating that endurance through faith's trials leads to spiritual maturity, fulfilling us completely in God's eyes. The scriptures encourage us to extend this patience to our interactions with others. Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 13 urges us to clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, especially when faced with challenging individuals. This aligns with the broader message of being patient with those who test our capacity for love. In essence, the Bible teaches us that patience is pivotal for our spiritual growth and relationships. By embracing patience, we mirror Christ's character and demonstrate His love to the world. Instead of viewing this period of singleness as a curse, I see it as a confirmation that God is molding me for something greater. It's time for me to ask God to show me what I need to learn and how I can be prepared for when my partner does enter my life. I want to be ready for a relationship that is God-ordained and lasts a lifetime. If I can have this conviction, I believe you can too. If I can trust that God is using this waiting period for my good, then you can as well. Are you experiencing more disagreements and arguments than usual in your relationship? Are you questioning if your relationship is aligned with God's plan? These signs could be guiding you to evaluate if your relationship is truly worth fighting for. The effort you put into your relationship today will shape your future. If you're uncertain about your partner or the direction of your relationship, these insights may help you discern if your relationship is in alignment with God's will. These moments of uncertainty could actually be God's way of signaling what lies ahead for you. There's purpose in every step orchestrated by God. You're with this person for a reason. God wants you to know that this relationship is meant for you. You don't have to doubt whether this person is the right one for you, because God is already revealing signs that both of you are destined to be together. When it comes to choosing a life partner, it's crucial to avoid mistakes as they can lead to significant challenges in your future. Seeking God's guidance in selecting your spouse or partner is paramount your willingness to seek God's will demonstrates your readiness for a fulfilling life. God is reassuring you now that He's leading you into this relationship because He knows this person is the right one for you. Compatibility is key when considering a life partner. While it's true that believers should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, even among believers, not everyone is the right fit for you. Some individuals, though believers, may be influenced by negative forces, making them unsuitable partners. Therefore, it's essential to consider other factors before making a decision on your life partner. Not everyone will understand your journey or support your success. God's perfect partner for you will not only be compatible, but also your helper, understanding and supporting you in every aspect of your life. If you're feeling uncertain about your relationship, it might be God's way of guiding you towards your soulmate. Seek His guidance and trust in His plan for your life. God is a divine matchmaker, skillfully orchestrating every step of your journey toward the right person. His guidance comes in various forms, ensuring you recognize His hand in leading you to your soulmate. As your Heavenly Father, God desires the best for you, including in your relationships. His love is immeasurable and unwavering, driving Him to steer you away from settling for anything less than His best. He intends to bless you with a relationship that brings profound joy, fulfillment, and personal growth. During the season of waiting, 
Prioritize building a deep and intimate connection with God. Seek Him earnestly. Align your desires with His will and trust in His guidance. This closeness will not only nurture your spirit, but also shape you into the person He has destined you to become. Through prayer and meditation, seek His counsel, allowing Him to mold your heart's desires to mirror His. Surrender your heart completely, allowing God to work in and through you, preparing you for the unique love story He has written for you. In the course of your journey, Rest assured that God intimately knows your heart. He understands your longings and aspirations, including the qualities you seek in a partner. Trust that He knows exactly who will complement and enrich your life. While impatience may sometimes cloud your vision, remember that God's wisdom transcends ours. He sees beyond the present into the future. Behind the scenes, God is diligently working to align every detail for your ultimate good. Recognize that one of the significant ways God communicates His will regarding your relationships is through spiritual growth and the welfare of your family. Therefore, you can trust that He is intricately involved in your choice of a life partner. Rest in the assurance that God, the author of your destiny, knows your future far better than you do. Let go of doubts and worries. Instead, trust in God's divine timing and guidance. He is the master of your destiny, leading you to a relationship that honors Him and fulfills your deepest desires. In every relationship, trust is foundational. God, who knows the intricate details of your life, orchestrates relationships that align with His divine plan for you. Therefore, you can trust that the person you are already committed to will not betray you, as God's intentions for you are always good, never harmful. Embracing this truth, you'll find that yielding to God's plan for your relationship brings profound beauty and fulfillment to your life. The Bible teaches us that God works behind the scenes, orchestrating events in our lives for our good. Aligning your heart with God's plan for your relationship opens the door to His blessings. When God leads you to your life partner, you're assured of a blessed and fulfilling union. Understanding that God has your best interests at heart, you can confidently embrace His plan for your relationship when the time comes. This reminds me of a woman I once knew who found herself in a similar situation. Despite pressure from her family to marry, she remained steadfast in trusting God's timing. Many suitors expressed interest in her, but she hesitated, unsure if any of them were right for her. However, one man stood out to her, yet she hesitated to take him seriously. Eventually, he left to pursue further education, and only then did she realize her mistake. She regretted not accepting his proposal, realizing that he was the one who truly understood her. Many of us find ourselves in similar situations, questioning if a particular person is truly right for us. Despite God's assurance, we often doubt, fearing that the relationship may hinder our personal growth or future plans. However, God's plan is perfect, and His choice for us is always the best. We must not allow our own doubts or standards to interfere with God's plan for our lives, especially in matters of the heart. In relationships, especially emotional ones, it's crucial to have spiritual discernment. Your partnership should be founded on a deep understanding of God's will. This discernment will guide you in recognizing the right partner for you. As women especially, it's essential to seek spiritual discernment in all relationships. When you align your heart with God's plan, you'll find peace and fulfillment in your relationship journey. You must be discerning, for appearances can deceive. What seems good now may not stay so. Sensory perception alone is not enough to guide you. 
align your path with God's will. Therein lies ease. People change. Today's kindness may fade tomorrow. Stability comes from God alone. Every good and perfect gift is from Him. When you unexpectedly connect with someone, it's for a divine reason. Trust His choice, for He loves you. Not everyone is meant for you. There's an appointed person. Like Isaac and Rebecca, choosing wisely leads to fulfillment. Don't outsmart God, especially in marriage, or you'll err greatly. Finding the right spouse brings favor and blessings. Recognize God's hand when the right one appears. Don't reject His plan.